Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today, a pencil review. And this might be a little problematic to record properly because the paint job on this pencil is so glossy and so slick uh, it's very hard to photograph this and not get all kinds of annoying reflection from the lights so I'm going to do my best and I will have to angle it mostly uh, but first of all let me say thank you to my pencil pal Bob Lazare who sent me this pencil among a number of others some time ago and I have just now getting around to reviewing it um, and this is the uh, Tombow Mono 100 this pencil is in a B core grade and um, this is just such a beautiful pencil not unlike what we normally see with the Japanese pencils but uh, wow this really does um, uh, does show you the highest level of manufacturing quality here. So let's just take a closer look at it to the extent that I can do this um, without a lot of glare. The pencil is, it appears black, but it almost in some angles looks to be a very deep very deep blue if any of you are certain of the color please share in the comments because the cap here is black and there is a slight change to my eyes anyways in the hue between the cap and the barrel which are separated by this incredible gold band that it wraps around so this is a hexagonal pencil so let's start with that there we go you can see the beautiful cedar there very well centered core no drip marks or anything here on the end and then let's start with what we can see so we have um, on one side it says highest quality the Tombow trademark there which is the dragonfly homograph mono 100 and then b with two little almost asterisks there on either side then you have the gold band you have this round cap so the cap is not hex like the barrel, but it is round with this white stripe that goes around it, over the top and down two of the sides. So there's that. We turn it and we have the product code there. So understanding these are sold individually. Uh, as well as probably by the dozen 
and then we have again our mark of the core grade B and then here we have for high precision drafting B there is the pencil it's made in Vietnam see the emboss here it's hard to make out but it's there made in Vietnam and then it looks like there is a number there probably the production number so Japanese company this pencil is not made in Japan pencil is made in Vietnam and again the paint on this pencil is pretty much flawless just beautiful absolutely beautiful so there's the pencil let me um, get a sharpener and we're gonna hand sharpen this and it does say it's for drafting but I'm not a draft draftsman I we will just use this for writing and see how we like it okay we will commence sharpening here you can see that beautiful cedar ribbon coming off of this pencil Uh huh. Nice cedar aroma. Yeah, we'll give it another turn. And here's our point. Now I suspect this being a B grade, we'll see how far we might get. Okay. You're probably not hearing a lot of noise because this is a whisper, quiet pencil. It is um, a 
absolute pleasure to write with this pencil. Let's say that. Um, it is smooth. It is quiet. It has a very nice dark tone. Check our point here. Yeah, it's wearing as we would expect with a B. So it's essentially a, a number one. And here comes the smudge. We have a drag. We might expect. Let's see, of course, no eraser on the pencil. And I am remiss that I don't have a Tombow eraser to try. But I do have some erasers from other. Asian manufacturers that we can try on this. So there's the Pentel. And remember, we are erasing a B, a number one pencil. Here's a foam eraser from Japan. Boy, did that do a nice job. What else do I have in the family here? Um, this is a seed radar point eraser. It's a little cumbersome to use because of the shape. It doesn't, it's not in a very good holder, but did a really good job there, though. Um, I don't think I have any additional Asian erasers, but let's see. I don't see why we couldn't use a pink pearl on this. Okay. And um, how about a Mars? Hmm. Oh, Milan. Well, again, we are erasing a pencil that is And I think using, you know, a variety of erasers, while there is a faint shadow here and there of the graphite for a core so soft to erase that well, I think is pretty good. Certainly, a, I'd say a B plus plus.
Yes. Lovely. Thanks, Bob, for sharing this with me. This is the first time and I've reviewed a lot of pencils. Uh, this is my first really experience with the Mono 100 uh, in the B grade and it's a beauty. Thank you and thanks to all of you watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Always Analog. Please feel free to subscribe if you like what I do. And you can also hit the like button, share the video with friends and family who you might think would enjoy. And uh, I will say thank you and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon here on Always Analog.